So um, are there, in fact, misconceptions um, in the public about traumatic brain injury? I think there are a few, and, and they do need to be addressed. Number one is having a traumatic brain injury is not necessarily a lifelong, irreversible, debilitating event. You can recover from traumatic brain injury. In fact, mild traumatic brain injury, it's expected that you will recover and recover fully from it. So that's number one. Second is that traumatic brain injury concussion uh, are two different things. They are not. They're the same thing. A concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury. I'm, that's exactly what it is. You, you, um, and because of that, you have to recognize that it is, in fact, an injury. And it does need to be taken seriously, much like a sprained ankle does or fracture. This is a fracture of the brain. This is a sprain of the brain. Uh, so a severe traumatic brain injury can be thought of a fracture of the brain. A concussion can be thought of as a sprain of the brain. And we all know that you recover nicely from a sprain if you treat it properly. So a mild concussion should not be ignored. It should be seen by a medical professional. And there should be a care plan instituted and most certainly take them away from a, a risk of having a second injury. So that. Uh, so assuming that a concussion and a mild traumatic brain injury are not the same thing is a misconception and a very important misconception. And, and finally, I would say is that the long-term consequences of a mild traumatic brain injury is, is not scary. It, it, it actually is a very recoverable event. And so because of that, patients uh, who get this injury need to be uh, cognizant that, they, that there is every expectation that they will recover. So because of that, they should not try to hide it. They should not try to, uh, um, 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 in fact, reduce its importance. They really need to take uh, and, and treat it seriously because if they do so, they, they will have a very good outcome. And the last thing is we all should recognize that the injured patient may not know that they're injured. I think that's very, very important. So if, in fact, we are playing sports with somebody and we see that they get hurt, and they get up and they dust themselves off and they say, no, I'm fine. They may not be fine. And it becomes our obligation to sit them down and say, no, sit down, let me take a look at you. Because they may not know they're hurt. And it really then becomes incumbent upon we, as their friends, as their family, who care about them, to then to do the right thing. So in this case, parents and colleagues have to be proactive on this condition.